If you ever find yourself needing to add additional information on screen for your YouTube videos or even client videos like this, then these amazing slide overlay templates are exactly what you need. I'm going to show you how they work and how you can possibly win them for yourself. This pack of slide overlays from Brett FX comes with 46 fully customizable theme-based overlay titles for Final Cut Pro and they're currently on sale. So if you missed the giveaway, make sure you go ahead and pick them up before they go back to the normal price. Once installed, you can find them in your title browser and you can scroll through all the different presets. What I like is that you have an option where it covers half the screen and then you also have a full screen option. Let's have a look at the real estate option. I will just drag and drop that on top of my clip. I'll hit Shift Z to fit the timeline to my screen. And if I play this back, we have a really nice animation here. Perfect for real estate editors. The cool thing is there are loads of different ways to customize this template. If I head over to the inspector and double click on the top, I can expand all these parameters. Under the animation parameters, you can choose whether this animation builds in or out, and you can also adjust the speed. So if we have a look at it right now, it takes about a second or so to build in, but we can make it a lot faster if we wanted to come in really quickly. Another thing we can do is make it really slow, and it would look like this. You can also adjust the background shift, which determines how much this clip it's on top of moves. So we can adjust this position here, maybe something like that. And you can also flip this animation to put the overlay on the other side of the clip. In the overlay settings, you can adjust things like the color, the color style, the opacity, and all sorts of other parameters to really make this your own. Under the text parameters, you can check this match angle box so that the text either stays perfectly straight like this, or it matches this cool angle we've got here on this overlay. We can also adjust the position of the text, color and width of the shape, and all these other parameters. Now, if we want to edit the text, we can simply come over here and select the text. Maybe we want to say luxury home for sale offered at, I don't know, $1 million and you can go ahead and adjust all these features. The cool thing is you can add these check marks or emojis. To do that, simply hit the function button or control command spacebar and it will bring up your emoji window and you can change it to whatever you like. I'm going to undo that for now because I think in this case the check marks work best and I'll go back over to the title parameters. I'll scroll down here to art element and what's really cool is instead of this animation here, you can change this to a drop zone if you like. And I have this logo for my real estate company, my fake one. I'll just hide that using the shortcut V, but I will go ahead into my art element drop zone, which you can find down here. I'll click on the clip well, and then I will select this logo. I'll hit apply clip, and right now it's too big. So I can just adjust the size of that, bring it down, and then I can adjust the position of this logo. You can also change the outline width, and maybe you want the text and these bars to match the color in the logo. So we can just click on this, use the eyedropper tool and grab a color from this logo. A nice quick tip, instead of using the color picker again to make the secondary overlay the same color, you can simply drag and drop this color onto that little color swatch. And just like that in seconds, we've created this really nice slide overlay using this template. Let's have a look at another example. For this one, I will choose photo memory. I'll drag it to the length of this clip and let's go ahead and change some text here. We'll say our 50th anniversary. Oops. And maybe we want the location here. This is Lover's Beach, USA 2023. And then you'll see we have this drop zone here where I want to add an image. I've got this image here and let's assume this was them on their wedding day. I might just go and treat this to look like an older photo. So I'll desaturate it, maybe bring up the shadows a little bit and let's add some effects. I'll search for a grain effect, add the film grain effect to that. Let's also add a super eight millimeter effect to that. And lastly, let's add a vignette as well. 
I'll just adjust some of these controls here. And then I'll go back to my slide overlay template and I'll head over to the drop zone and I'll select this image. I'll hit apply clip and I'll just scale this down and reposition it in this frame. We can also change this text to our wedding and maybe I want to adjust the position of this art element a little bit in the rotation and let's play that back. Now you also have these six customizer templates which are really cool. So for this example I'll just hide this first one we did on the real estate clip and I'll put this vertical full screen customizer on here. So it animates on like this and what's really nice is you can go ahead and adjust all these different parameters. You can change the text, the border, you can add the drop zone, you can play with shadows and you can customize this to look exactly how you want it to look. Don't forget to click the link down below to find out how you can stand a chance to win one of three copies of Brett FX's slide overlays. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.